these days, everyone knows or should know that smoking, vaping, dipping, and snuffing, and yes, I did say vaping, are all terrible for your health. The vapors will say it's not carcinogenic, um, cancer-causing, and I'll say remains to be made really clear, but mm -hmm. the whole popcorn lung thing is clearly mm -hmm. problematic. Um, but nicotine doesn't cause cancer. It's the delivery mechanism. Mm -hmm. Yes. But these days, a lot of people realizing the cognitive uh, enhancement, if you will, I don't even like the phrase, uh, the stimulant effect of nicotine are using nicotine pouches in particular, gums, um, let's set patches aside for the moment, um, and mints and things of that sort for the stimulant effect. It's an unusual stimulant because it also relaxes one self a little bit at the same time. So it's kind of that like, you know, that sweet spot. And I confess, I will occasionally take, you know, one or two milligrams, very low dose. Most pouches are anywhere from three to eight mm. pouches, uh, uh, milligrams rather. I'll take, you know, like one to two milligrams of nicotine in the form of a gum. I'll just chew it, you know, and then take it out. Um, nicotine is a vasoconstrictor. What does nicotine do to the oral microbiome? Are you going to make me quit nicotine? I'm, I don't feel addicted, but every addict says that. So, yeah. <laughs> the first step is admitting the issue. Um, so I don't want to villainize anything. No, you can villainize it. So I agree with you. I don't think it's the nicotine itself, but like the pouches, for example, are becoming very popular. So what else is in those? Um, and there's a really interesting case study that maybe we can link it for people mm -hmm. to look at, sure. and I'll share it with you later. Um, and then I have colleagues who are reporting this all throughout the globe. But they're one brand in particular, it will have mannitol and maltodextrin in it, which mm -hmm. are sugar alcohols and a different a carbohydrate. And they market them as sugar-free. Well, products are allowed to have trace amounts of sugar still in the product, very small amount, and still be called sugar-free. And the issue with these products is the duration of action, the contact time. I mean, you're supposed to leave them in for 20 to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? That's right. So it's quite a long time to have that up in the mucosa, along the bone, and along your teeth that potentially has some sugar in it, okay? So it's like if you're sucking on a hard candy. Um, but also we're seeing changes to the, the cellular um, structure up in that area. So you can see leukoplakia, which is like white patching, which can be precancerous. So this is why I just like everyone mm -hmm. to get checked out. And we are seeing bone loss and gum recession. Um, again, anytime you put anything into the mouth, it's going to change and shift the microbiome. And that could be a filling, that could be a piece of gum, that toothpick. could be a toothpick, anything, you know, arguably besides neutral pH water. Um, and so this case study, this gentleman was going in, I believe he was in his mid-50s. He started using these pouches and and had always had very wonderful dental checkups with x-rays and went in regularly and maybe he missed one appointment. And after 15 months of use, the x-rays are outrageous. He has, has rampant decay along the side where he had the pouch, very likely from potentially that trace amount of sugar, the microbiome changes. I mean, it looked like mothball chunks taken out of his teeth and he lost some teeth. Wow. So this isn't to scare people, but if you're going to choose to use these, I just say know the risks and make sure you're getting checked regularly at your dentist. Don't just mm -hmm. ghost your dentist. Mm -hmm. um, because if if they're starting to see cellular changes, recession or early decay, then you may say, gosh, I should really cut back on this. Or maybe they, sh if somebody is really adamant about taking nicotine, they should just take a milligram or two milligram pill of nicotine. Yeah. Or a patch. Right. You scared me with leukoplakia. Yeah, because yeah, growing up, we were all told, you know, don't, no one really dips in, in Northern California, but, um, you know, like don't dip or, uh, because, and then I saw these pictures of leukoplakia, jaw recession, jaw recession mm -hmm. and it, it's pretty vile. And, and so you, the design to scare you, it scared me sufficiently. I never wanted to chew tobacco uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs>